Can anyone learn how to shift? Is this something that everybody can do or is it just limited to a few people? Well, I'm gonna break that down in this video. By the way, please go and check out my other video. The link is in the description. If you don't know how to shift, if this is new to you, um, I think you're really gonna like this video. It's a very powerful way. It explains several techniques and things, for, especially for beginners, you know, come on, go and check out the video. All right, so how can anyone shift? Can, is this something anyone can do? Well, yes, and there's a good reason why everybody can do it. So the way that reality works, if you didn't already know, is that we are all conscious creators. We all kind of co-create this universe and this experience with each other based on our own beliefs, uh, desires, and emotions and things we feel and think. The problem is we do, we do this so well, we, we create and experience our universe at the same time so well that we don't even realize we're doing it. This is much like the, uh, well, there's actually a scene in Inception, uh, for those of you who have seen Inception, where he says literally that. He says, you create and perceive your world so well that you don't realize you're doing it. He's talking about obviously in a dream, in a lucid dream, but the same explanation happens to apply to waking reality as well. A smarter question would be, do we all realize we can shift? And the answer to that, of course, is no. Uh, most people don't realize they can shift. So most people don't realize they can change things. So they kind of adopt this victim mentality. And in fact, some people will be so angry when you should suggest the idea that they can change their reality to them, that they will desperately cling to the victim mentality. They will cling to the idea that things happen to them and there's nothing they can do about it. This is especially true of people who are struggling or people who are not living the life they want to experience. If you tell a person like that something like, you know, that they can shift and, and they can change their reality, they will almost become angry because they don't want to admit that to themselves. So I spoke about experiments and proof in another video. You can check that out if you haven't seen that already. I'll try and remember to link to it in the description. Uh, but it's very real, it's very powerful, and it's very easy to understand when you realize that everything is connected. Beliefs and affirmations are also a very important part of this. So just, just take one second to just scroll down as you're listening to this and just comment something like, I will shift or I can shift and kind of describe in detail what you're gonna do and how it's gonna be for you. So in a nutshell, anybody or everybody can shift. They can change their reality. They can manifest everything or anything they want to experience. The real stumbling block, the real kind of reason that people don't do that is almost entirely down to their beliefs. What you believe about yourself and the world is essentially what you'll experience. The same, you know, the same experience can be uh, perceived differently by two different people based on their beliefs. Okay, so anybody can do it, but what if two people try to shift to two different versions of the same reality? What will happen then? Well, there's different theories as to how and why this this, uh, this works. One theory would suggest that the they're kind of merged depending on which reality requires the least energy to maintain. And then another theory suggests that there are these multiverses and that it's explained by simply one person would shift to a, uh, a universe where this happens, the other person would shift to a different universe where this happens. But you can have a confluence or a kind of like convergence of these different realities, especially in ones where, you know, what I want to experience doesn't really affect what you want to experience. We can then effectively either stay in the same reality together or shift to a different one where we're both there. But when, let, let's say if, if one person wants to shift to a reality where, you know, something massive happens and another person wants to shift to a reality where that thing doesn't happen, of course, those things can't coexist. They would have to either collapse, merge or be separate. So there's different, this is where it gets a lot more complicated than I want to explain, to be honest. Um, because there's different theories and there's different kind of criticisms of each of these theories and they kind of, my opinion is that some, the truth lies somewhere in the middle of most of these theories and involves things uh, that we simply don't understand fully just yet. Um, this is when you start talking about like multiple converging timelines, ether, um, gravitational paradoxes, timeline paradoxes, it gets a bit complicated. Um, but you don't really need to understand that in order to actually do it. You know, it's just like when you when you turn on the light switch, you don't need to understand exactly how the electrical current works. You just need to understand that it does work and that you clicking the switch is what makes it work. Um, obviously, that's massively reductionist, but that's that's the basic kind of foundation that most people need to know. If you do want to learn more about shifting, check 
the link in the description or it might be in the pinned comment as well. It's a YouTube video I made. It's almost like a kind of webinar uh, training video. It explains exactly how to shift the different techniques, the different warnings and how you can do it. If you haven't watched it yet and if you heard me talking about it, you should definitely check it out because it's really powerful and especially for beginners, it explains exactly what you need to know.